Joining me now with reaction to the president's address is the ranking member of the Senate Armed Services Committee, Arizona Senator John McCain. Senator, welcome back. Thank you, Sean. Thanks for having me back. So, the, so you know, how ungracious of the president, as we just see here, you know, he said is the minimal things. Well, George Bush supports our troops. He loves our country. Uh, that's, the, that's the best he could muster? Well, it's, it shows a, a real lack of generosity of spirit. Uh, look, uh, what he should have said, I oppose the surge. I was wrong. I made a mistake. And George W. Bush deserves credit for doing something that was very, very unpopular at the time. Instead, he had to say it's well known that George Bush loves the troops. Really? Gee. And the fact is, <laughs> and the fact is that, the, and the fact is that then Senator Obama voted to cut off the funding, not even Joe Biden that wanted to divide Iraq into three different countries, voted against the funding uh, for ongoing operations. He unalterably opposed the, uh, the surge and used Hillary Clinton's vote for the war uh, as a way to defeat her in the presidential primaries uh, for the Democratic nomination. I mean, uh, it, you just can't make it up. You know, the uh, so. I, I don't ahead. know what he was trying to do tonight. It seemed like in many ways he was trying to thread the needle, appeal to his left-wing base. I mean, the closest he came to saying we were victorious was the American, uh, the American people who served in Iraq completed every mission that they were given. They defeated a regime that had terrorized its people. Well, yeah, we toppled the regime a long time ago. How about we won the war? It was a success. Yeah, he, he never did really uh, articulate that, but frankly, if I could switch gears a second, the part that really disturbs me the most, uh, I'm, I'm not surprised that he wouldn't give George Bush credit. That's just in the DNA of the individual, apparently. But when he said, We're, our withdrawal will be conditions-based, and then contradicted that, by saying we will beginning, we'll beginning, we will be uh, uh, begin to withdraw on in the middle of 2011. That's an in ambiguity. Afghanistan. That yes, and that's an ambiguity in Afghanistan that could cause us to fail. Uh, Sean, our friends are discouraged. Our enemies are encouraged. Taliban captives said, you've got the watches, we've got the time. Karzai's behavior indicates his uh, uncertainty about our commitment. Pakistan, uh, I, outside of Kandahar, uh, last 4th of July, I met a police chief, non-corrupt police chief. He said, yeah, the Taliban are telling us you're leaving uh, next year, and that those of us who cooperate, they're going to cut off our heads. And I said, do you believe we're leaving? He said, yes. Yeah. And so w the, the fact that we are telling these people there, our friends and our enemies, that we are leaving, and again, the president reinforced that ambiguity again tonight, puts young Americans in harm's way unnecessarily well, because I don't believe we can succeed uh, if we don't say that it's strictly conditions-based. I was, I was and the watching, president has to say that. I was watching uh, Charles Krauthammer on with, with Brett Baer immediately after the speech, and he used the, the adjectives flat and odd. And, and I think in many ways he's right, because on substance, what, what the president said here tonight when it comes to Afghanistan, he's reiterating the, the 2011 deadline when he said, make no mistake, the transition will begin, um, and spoke against an open-ended war. When our enemies are, are doubting right now our staying power in Afghanistan, did, did Obama not give them reason to celebrate tonight? I think if not reason to celebrate, certainly a reason to be encouraged to hold out. And again, to people like Karzai and other people who have to remain in the region, and Pakistanis as well, the signal is you better start accommodating to American departure. And I appreciate what Secretary Gates has said. I even appreciate what Secretary Clinton has said. And, and General Petraeus is walking a very fine line, as you might have, uh, have noticed. But it takes the president the United States to say unequivocally that we're going to win and then we're going to withdraw, just like we were able to do in Iraq with the success of the surge, which he unalterably opposed and yeah. now seems to be taking credit for. And, and if he had his way, we wouldn't have had this today, but he couldn't even utter the words, we were victorious, which if I was one of the brave men and women that served there, I think I would be a little offended tonight, but uh, Senator, good to see you. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Sean. And coming up.